Hello everyone. I am Dr. Guru Prasad Hosurkar, Senior Consultant Neurologist, Additional Director, Neurology, Fortis Hospital, Banagata Road. As you all know, acute stroke is a leading cause of disability in the world over, including India. And it's the second cause of mortality after cardiac causes. It can happen in any age group. Usually it's seen in middle age, right from the age of, I mean, third of third decade or fourth decade, going up to elderly people. Even children can also be affected with stroke. When someone has acute symptoms of stroke, either in the form of sudden onset, visual loss, difficulty in speaking, difficulty in lifting their arms, difficulty in walking in the form of weakness in the legs, loss of balance, all these symptoms amounts to acute stroke. We call it fast, F for uh, face, A for arm drift, S for speech, T for time. If these are identified and taken to a uh, nearby uh, you know, stroke ready hospital, they are usually assessed quickly in terms of doing a scale, whether the stroke is present and what are the immediate triggers for stroke, is their blood pressure high, all that is noted and then we use certain scales to identify the extent of the stroke and then quickly subject them to either CT scan or MRI and that also has to be done in a very quick fashion and then we identify either either it is a ischemic stroke or a hemorrhagic stroke if mostly it's a 85% of the patients coming with stroke are ischemic strokes where there is a thrombus formation within the blood vessel is a blocked vessel choked vessel and that can lead to ischemic region in the brain leading to this type of sim stroke symptoms and that's quickly identified and this way if the patients are in the golden hour that means within four and a half hours of onset of stroke then these subject patients are eligible for IV thrombolysis. Once uh, the vessels are seen, we also do angiogram in these patients along with CT or MR. Once the type of vessels are identified and if these patients are within the golden period, they are given IV thrombolysis in the form of either altepase or tenetoplase depending on the usage. They are given usually tenetoplase is given in the form of bolus. Uh, altepase is given bolus followed by one hour infusion and then they are closely monitored in the ICU for next 24 hours. And subsequently, if these patients have major artery occlusions where IV thrombolysis is not be good enough, these patients are taken up for mechanical thrombectomy where they undergo four vessel DSA, angiogram. The, the area of thrombus occlusion of major vessel is identified and using stent retrieval systems, these thrombus are retrieved and the vessels, uh, the blood circulation is restored recanalized using this technique and with that the blood circulation is restored and the penumbra that salvageable tissue is saved as much as possible and extent of stroke is minimized. So the important aspect of uh, giving this message is that identification of the symptoms as I said fast has to be done quickly. They, are, they need to be assessed in an emergency in a quick fashion, imaged quickly within a time bound manner and then taken up for this type of thrombolytic therapy where the blood circulation is restored quickly and then they can be managed well in the uh, in ICU and then the wards undergo neuro rehabilitation in a very guide in a uh, methodical way and then eventually have a good outcome. Time is very crucial. So identification of stroke symptoms, getting them to a stroke ready hospital like Fortis hospital where all the facilities are available under one roof, expertise available around the clock 24 by 7 where things are done in a quick, uh, you know, minute to minute fashion, no time is wasted and then the eventual patient outcome is better with this type of uh, therapies like thrombolytic therapy, either IV thrombolysis or mechanical thrombolysis. And that has to be followed up with good amount of IC monitoring of these patients and then blood pressure, diabetes management and then eventual rehabilitation and then uh, home care. Thank you.